How to pray for a broken heart, part 6. This is video number 585. I. When I is replaced by we, even illness turns into wellness. God said everything in his creation was good, except when Adam was left alone. Then it was not good. Please God, look down on us too now and notice that it's not good to be alone. Please infuse us with your spirit so that we find the one, that we make an aimful and purposeful treasure hunt of finding and cherishing the one you have selected for us. I love this little clip about two is better than one. May God really write this on our hearts. May we find a desire that it is better than one. You really want one, don't you? I really do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Health comes in many forms. Mm -hmm. A kidney, a kind gesture, a friend to light your way. Uh, Still, too often we insist on doing it ourselves. What's he doing? Trying to touch his eyeball. Why? Because I want to look as different as I feel. Do you want me to do it? Yes, please. <laughs> We're afraid of looking weak. Of not being tough. <laughs> Truth is, we're all capable of walking through the world by ourselves. I take it back. What? I don't blame you for being stressed. <laughs> Three kids is no joke. <gasps> and you run a department, win awards. I'm shocked you're not more stressed. Oh, trust me, I'm having a glass of wine with Thor, and all I'm doing is thinking about how much stuff I have to do tomorrow. What? You like me. I don't dislike you. <laughs> Which is an improvement from this morning, right? <laughs> I won't be offended if you have to check that. I'm gonna give myself a moment. I have figured out why you run so much, though. You eat more junk food than any surgeon I've ever met. One perk of being a cancer kid, I get to eat whatever I want, and no one can tell me no. <laughs> <laughs> but most of the time, life is better with company. It is well with my soul. Please, Lord, make this the motto of the storm that I know and that I feel and that I'm aware that is well with my soul. Intimacy, in, intimacy flashbacks. I do not know if I'm the only one battling with some very sweet and cherished memories or flashbacks from the most recent relationship. I also surrender this now to God. I do not want to be like Lot's wife that is a prisoner of a past. I want to be free, a free butterfly, a free bird. I want to be here now, so please God help me with this too. Ironic antonym. Editor's note, while I was making the notes of what, notes of what to pray, the song Ironic was playing for, from Alanis Morissette. This got me thinking, this is so many times how I feel, that things just don't work out. Ironic. Please God, I also surrender this to you now. I declare that you will teach me and show me your glory, in, even in this aspect, that my life will not be ironic anymore. But the lyric and the theme of my life will be serendipity to find good things without even looking for it. I have a bad habit of isolating when I'm sad or depressed. Part of it is because I don't want to drain the happiness of those around me or burden them with my problems. Another part is because my mental state is so fragile and I don't need any more negativity to make me feel worse. I have seen this time and time again, like the song time after time. This is what happens. People isolate themselves. Please, Lord, erase this habit out of our lives. Your word instructs us to form communities, to cry with those who are sad, and to laugh and rejoice with those who are happy. 
please God, help us with this too. Intoxicated by the Holy Spirit. I don't want to be intoxicated by anything else than the Holy Spirit. So please God, just as your word teaches us, teach us and infuse us to be fully, fully intoxicated by the Holy Spirit instead of anything else. So many times with a broken heart or a broken spirit, we turn to wine. We turn to something to make us comfortably numb. Please God, let us crave your presence even more in these dark times. In love. Last week Tuesday I was truly in love. It felt so good. Yes. This heartache is truly very recent. I asked God, how can this be wrong? Why can't I always feel this way? I was more patient with my patience. I spread around the love at work and at home. So please God, let me always be in love. Before this relationship is restored, let me be in love with you and with Jesus. Let me always be in love. I just love this analytical clip from Grey's Anatomy about all the lovely hormones being secreted when we are in love. The next clip will follow shortly. The next video. Here is a partial list of chemicals that our bodies produce when we're falling in love. Okay, let's get our toothbrush. We have five minutes. PEA is a natural form of amphetamine. It puts us on high alert. I half expected to find a handsome Italian resident brewing his cappuccinos this morning. He's very good at it. Are you talking about mom's boyfriend? I guess I am. Pheromones produced from DHEA create an inexplicable sense of well-being and comfort. Do you have a boyfriend too, Auntie Amelia? Well, I, it's not, um, would you call that? Do you kiss him? Maggie's here! Hey, I thought you were spending the night at Jackson's. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I was. All right. I have no doubt. So, why the Inquisition? Okay. Auntie Maggie has a boyfriend. Oxytocin has been called the cuddle hormone, and it stimulates the secretion of dopamine, estrogen, and LHRH. Hey, Ellis and Bailey, let's go. Get your backpack. 